doing some more arc again today. Um, no big project or anything, but um, when I show or I tell people about it, they're always like, I want to see something you can do. And I thought it'd be nice to have something I could actually give them. So I drew up some um, bottle openers. I'm going to cut a piece out of, cut out of a scrap piece of 14 gauge I have, and I'm probably going to cut some out of 16 gauge just to check it out. But I don't think it's heavy enough metal for an actual bottle opener that works. Um, and I don't have a whole lot of scrap left right now. But anyway, I'm going to try that out and see what it looks like. Fire up the plasma cutter. Did a design that I thought was simple, and it uh, just dark trade locked up. I'm not sure what's going on with that. So then I drew a little quick rectangle right on the arc droid itself, and it cut it fine. So I'm not sure what's going on. So I drew a new, very simple, no text or anything, um, bottle opener in Inkscape and imported it as a DXF and I'm going to try it again and see what happens. I don't know what's going on, for some reason, it's cutting and then it just locks up, and the only way to stop it is to uh, turn off the arc cord. It's like the arc cord itself, the OS is locked up. Okay, so, switch to the hand torch. That's it. I never saw this pausing thing or this locking up thing ever until, uh, maybe coincidentally, but not until I put the CNC torch on there. So I'm going to try it again with the hand torch and see, since it's, it seems to happen regularly right now, I'm going to switch to the hand torch and see if that has an effect. So it's, it's not the torch, I'm not sure what's causing it, but um, maybe lock, the arc droid itself is locking up. So it, the screen doesn't respond, nothing responds, I turn it off, that opens up the contacts, so the torch stops, and then the air times out. Those are all functions of, of the plasma cutter, not the arc droid. Uh, I don't know what's going on, it's like it, it runs, it's running the program and it just locks up, something happens to it. So. 
guess I'll be contacting ArcDroid and see what happens. And I'm putting the CNC torch back on because obviously that's not the cause. Okay, so um, I'm just, I don't know what's causing it to just lock up like it's doing. Uh, I switched out the torch back to the hand torch. It's not the new torch. Um, so I put the torch back on, the CNC torch. Uh, the only other thing I could think of that I might have caused, might have done, was uh, hooking up the voltage feedback from the plasma cutter to the arc droid. I disconnected it here, but it was running through the, I mean, it was still running through the cable between the two. I don't know if it's, it doesn't make sense, but if it's somehow inducing some noise or something. So, I disconnected that from the other end, so that signal is not leaving the plasma cutter anymore, so it shouldn't have any effect. And I honestly expect it to fail again, but it was worth a try to try it. Um, if it fails again, um, you probably won't even hear about this, because I'll contact their their um, support and see what they think. Um, if it doesn't fail again, I'll probably share this and see if uh, we can work, you know, somebody can learn from it. This piece of metal is all messed up now, but I don't care. It's just a test, so let's see what it does. Will it lock up? Let's try another drawing. This is the drawing that I first messed up on, so it's a little more complicated. Maybe I'll mess up again. Alright, so I'd say that's pretty conclusive. Um, seems like it was just having my plasma cutter hooked up to the wires, so the voltage feedback actually running through the wires, even though it wasn't hooked to the input on the arc droid. Um, maybe it was feeding back enough noise in the, the circuit that turns it on and off. I don't know. But first time I ever saw it pause was after I had hooked up those wires <coughs> and had added, the, um, had added the CNC plasma torch, so I don't know. I'm starting to believe that there's a lot of noise that comes out of the Prime Mode Cut 60, at least mine, maybe the newer ones are better, I don't know anything about that. but. 
it looks like, I mean, I'll, I'll do some more testing, but it looks to me like it's a bad idea to take the voltage out of that. So if, if I'm going to do any more torch height, torch height compensation experiments or whatever, I'll buy an external voltage divider and use that. <coughs> but it looks like it's working again, so uh, no call to support. Um, I'll do some more experimenting. I don't, I don't think these are good designs for bottle openers. I'm sure you can open a bottle with them, but uh, I don't like the lettering and stuff that uh, came out. So, of course I double cut things and cut things over the top of them and stuff. But, I'll play with that some more, but um, this didn't, wasn't the video I expected to make today. I thought I would be playing around with, uh, hell, I thought I would open up a beer with a new bottle. Hey, uh, it's, it's pretty good evidence that um, maybe the, the Primal Cut 60 isn't the best choice for your arc droid. Um, as long as all you use it for, it, only wiring you do between the two is the start the torch and stop the torch. I've had no issues whatsoever with that. It cuts great. And I actually like the Cut60. Um, but having the voltage feedback, even though it was a 150th signal, whatever, for whatever reason, that it's either noisy or something. It's probably noise. Um, it, it's caused problems with the arc droid. The arc droid actually appears to lock up. I mean, from what I saw today, I would say uh, if you want to use torch height compensation, probably don't want the Cut60. If you do have the Cut60 or you're just dead set on getting a Cut60, you're going to want an external voltage divider, is my opinion. Um, I have read and heard that newer Cut60s are cleaner or don't have this problem. Uh, mine was purchased in October of 21, so I don't know if that makes it an older one, but for whatever reason, I did have a problem with that. and. Um, you know, this isn't the video I expected to make today, but um, well, hopefully it'll help somebody. And I've got a real project coming, um, some poles for a shade cloth in a backyard patio. Uh, just not ready for that yet because the concrete's not done yet. <laughs> so next week's concrete weekend. Um, anyway, so that's the, the update for um, whatever was going on with this. Um, I don't know any more about bottle openers necessarily, but I do know that, um, well, I do know that hooking the cut 60 voltage feedback up to the arc door is not a good idea. And it works fine without it. So I'm back to, you know, I think I could do anything I need to do with it, not worried about it. Um, and I'm not worried about the cut 60. Um, anyway, so that's the update for today.